you know, things can change really quickly while you're working on a project. And sometimes you don't even know what you're really doing. I find that a lot. I just have this idea, kind of this destination that I hope to arrive at, and I have no idea how, how it's going to get there. You know, you, there's some, a certain amount of discovery that, that can happen and there's an exploration that, that you're kind of conducting by, by making the work that's really important to the, to, the, to the development of the piece conceptually and technically. Sometimes you might, you can experience a dramatic shift in the piece and you would be denied that opportunity uh, if, if you weren't there as, as a hands-on participant in, in the project. Okay, uh, my name is Everett Beidler. Right now I'm working on uh, kinetic sculpture for a performance piece that we're, we're going to shoot in the, in the fall. The title of the piece is called Moves Manager. A kinetic sculpture would be anything that, any piece of work that, that moves. And there's different ways to supply movement. It can be electric, it could be human powered. I mean really the, the possibilities there are endless. In this case, this particular piece, it's a machine. Um, so it's, it's a cart that somebody else pushes and the front wheels of the, of the cart basically provide motion for my feet and my arms so that I'll be doing this. And, and essentially what, where that motion is transferred to is a set of linkages. There's a, a linkage, this is the linkage here for my feet. I think that with this project, the, the, the discovery are, will be more on technical issues, like how to suspend myself from this thing where without getting hurt, without having it pull on my clothes, um, and making it so I can get on and off very quickly. That's, that's going to be a big problem for me to solve. I don't think I've gotten to the point of discovery yet, because there's, there's, it's all numbers and, and and kind of just, well, if the front wheels are 10 inches in diameter and I've got, you know, it's, it's just how to keep it level. It's a lot of math involved, you know, and drawing things like figuring out the angles of those back arms that hold the wheels. I mean, there was some discovery there. The first two I made ended up in the scrap pile. You know, metal is, that's my forte and, and welding that, I know welding better than anything else that I do. So there's a trade-off, you know, where if, if everything you're doing is kind of executed as you envisioned it initially, there's a lot of security in that. Um, it's reliable, it's, and you're always working in materials you're familiar with. It's just something you can count on. But I found that it just didn't, it wouldn't hold my interest. So I just started to experiment with different materials and I guess maybe feel a little bit, have a little bit more trust that I was going to get somewhere that was meaningful. It can be kind of scary at times, to be honest with you, because you know, it makes me feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I just know that I'm working on this piece right now, but I don't really know where it fits in with the, in the continuum, or if it even does. Sometimes they end up in the scrap pile. They do. I do work part-time as a teacher, but I spend more time doing this. So this is my, I, I look at this, this is my job. So it's kind of, it's a passion, but it's also work for me too. So I just really do feel like I need to work as hard as I can uh, every chance that I get.